Glaucoma is the second leading cause of preventable blindness and the leading cause of irreversible blindness in India. It is projected that approximately 16 million Indians will be affected by glaucoma by 2020. An alarming 95% are not aware of their pathology, and late diagnoses often lead to irreversible vision loss. The low rate of glaucoma detection can be attributed to the lack of opportunistic screening in outreach activities. By introducing glaucoma screening to current outreach models, such as screening eye camps, glaucoma detection should increase. Since its inception, Aravind Eye Hospital has been conducting screening eye camps in villages throughout the state of Tamil Nadu. These eye camps, initially designed for diagnosing cataracts, provide free care to thousands of patients who might not otherwise have access to eye care. Patients seeking care in these camps are mainly people with self-perceived eye problems, which impair their daily life and work. Thus, we would expect that this patient population would have high numbers of ocular pathology beyond the common conditions such as cataract or refractive errors. Tonometry alone, the method currently used in the camps, is a highly ineffective method of screening for glaucoma, as 75% of those with elevated eye pressures do not have glaucoma, and 50% of glaucoma cases present with normal IOPs. In addition, the high volume of patients who need care in a short time interval is always a challenge for effective and comprehensive screening. In Aravind's base hospitals, physicians have access to several modern tools that have a much higher specificity for glaucoma than a tonometer alone. But these tools have until recently been too cumbersome to transport to the remote areas in which the screening camps are held. However, recent advancements in technology have afforded us the ability to bring these devices into the field. We are developing a new screening methodology for glaucoma in these camps centered around four tools. A Perkins tonometer, a handheld slip lamp, a handheld fundus camera, and a tablet application that tests visual fields. By allowing physicians in the field to obtain accurate IOP measurements, directly evaluate the optic nerve head, and examine the visual fields of their patients, we hope to be able to increase the detection of glaucoma in the community. Furthermore, by using low-cost technicians to operate the equipment, camp operating costs will be kept low. Patients entering eye camps begin with registration, where they receive a document that is used to record information collected throughout the eye camp. Next, each patient has their vision tested. A physician follows this with a preliminary examination using a flashlight and a handheld slit lamp. It is at this step where patients may be diagnosed with cataracts. Patients over 35 without significant cataracts receive the additional screening steps. These patients will have their intraocular pressure measured by Perkins tonometer and also undergo refraction by an optometrist to assess visual acuity. Next, the patients have their fundus photo taken by a handheld fundus camera. The handheld fundus camera enables non-midriatic eye fundus examination with a wide 4D field of view. Both still and video images of the optic disc, macula, and retinal vasculature can be obtained and documented. This device, operated by a technician, is easy to use and images can be quickly transferred to a laptop wirelessly or via memory card. Finally, field testing is done on a tablet. The current app used is named Visual Fields Easy and can be downloaded for free from iTunes. This app uses a supra-threshold method of visual fields testing to detect gross abnormalities in the visual field. This app takes about three minutes per eye and assesses a wide field of view, 30 degrees from fixation horizontally and 24 degrees vertically, and approximately 24 points in all four quadrants. Patients then receive a final consultation from the physician, and any glaucoma suspects from these tests are counseled and referred to a base hospital for further examination and management. By adding and modifying various steps of the traditional ICAMP model, along with introducing updated technology, we hope to better diagnose patients with a glaucoma at an early stage to prevent needless blindness. Our ongoing pilot study is showing promising results.